what's up lovers how are you doing today today i am making a video about five easy ways to make a girl put you on a pedestal she's here you're over there you know outside of the frame of this video yes you are all the way over there you want the girl to feel like you are the prize because you are the prize all them bitches thinking they're the prize no today i'm gonna tell you how to make her believe that you're the prize yes let's go number one it starts with you guys it starts with you you gotta believe that you are the fucking prize because how many times i hear well i don't got money uh, i'm not that good looking i'm not that confident uh, she's out of my league all them fucking excuses you're giving yourself the moment that you don't believe that you are the fucking prize then you're not you gotta sell it you gotta sell that you are the fucking prize so it starts with you you gotta buy into it and people are gonna buy into you everything comes in your head first if you are confident in your head then it's gonna come out in reality if you think you're the shit if you think you're the prize it's gonna come out in your action you gotta put in your head and it's not like just tell yourself yes i'm the prize and then you go outside and act like oh mm, you, no you gotta make sure you know you're the shit you know you got shit going on for yourself and if you don't you better start fixing that shit and yes as soon as you start feeling like i'm the shit watch watch it's it's just something that you exude it's just something that women can really feel we can sense it it's like the energy like when i walk in the room and i see a dude i kind of know if he's like okay confident or not we, we can see we can sense it so if you don't feel it nobody is gonna feel it so you gotta put in your mind that you are the shit and that nobody can tell you no you are the fucking prize and the bitch is gonna put you on the pedestal yes number two stop chasing validation who the fuck are you why do you need people to validate you why do you need people to tell you uh, something you need to hear yes it feels good i'm not saying no to that it feels good but why do you need it if you know you are the shit like we did on step one you don't need nobody's approval you don't need nobody to tell you hey uh yeah i think you're very attractive it, it sounds good to hear but in your mind you're like yeah i, I knew I already know I'm attractive like you know not saying you got to be an asshole when people give you compliment but you shouldn't chase validation and the thing that's gonna happen which is like awesome in relationship or in dating is that it's always somebody that's looking for validation always so if it's not you that means she is looking for validation and right there her looking for your approval her looking for you to say yeah you look good or i love how talented you are and you're not giving it to her that's gonna drive her crazy number one and number two because she's the one chasing now she's gonna see you as the prize she's gonna feel like yo he's really worth it like i want him to validate me so therefore in her mind he's gonna she's not even gonna realize i am telling you because I've, I've been doing that sometimes because i i do it sometimes and then it's like afterward when i sit down i'm like yo why are you looking for his validation? And me looking for his validation means that his opinion matters. It means that I don't think I'm this shit. I need to hear it from him. No, you don't need to hear it from anyone because you fucking know that you are the shit. And once she starts looking for validation from you, she's going to be begging, begging to hear like the simple compliment, a little compliment. She's going to be begging for it. She will try to make you like her more and put so much effort into like you realizing that yo i am good i am good can you pick me you know she's gonna be like that so you want that i mean i'm not saying you want it but hey if you want a woman to put you on the pedestal that that's what you want you want her to feel like she needs to be validated by you so what you need to do is stop trying to impress like you know you're the shit you don't need anybody to tell you yeah you're the shit because you already know also i would say it's always better to show than to tell for example if you're adventurous and you know that's like a quality that a lot of women are looking for don't tell her oh yeah i, I did this i did that and like because it's kind of like bragging and it's not that interesting or whatever but what you should do actually is take her on an adventure so then she can tell herself oh he is adventurous don't just come and say i'm adventurous because i do this is this no don't say anything take her on an adventure and she's gonna do the math and be like 
is adventurous also the other thing for her to start like seeking your validation and make sure that you are not seeking for hers is don't over explain yourself don't justify anything like for example you you at this job that's not making that much money don't just say oh i'm at this job but you know it's just temporary because this and that no no yeah i got this job right now that's it you don't gotta explain nothing or you know you might be out of shape and you're like yeah you know usually i'm in a better shape but with these early days you know i'm kind of slacking no because it seems like you're trying to sell her on something that you're not at the moment and that she's gonna be okay with how you are now like no if you're not in shape don't talk about well i used to be in shape nobody cares because what we see is that you're not in shape so either get in shape or just be cool with how you're looking as soon as you justify or over explain yourself it shows that you're looking for her validation and that her opinion matters when it shouldn't number three be decisive and lead yes women need you to lead that's a fact a hundred percent of the time so what you do is when i'm saying lead yeah you know you can take her on dates and tell her okay be ready at the time do this do that like yes we love that too but i'm talking more about you know, when you first start talking to a girl, don't tell her, oh, I'm trying to date you or um, I'm trying to wife you. I'm looking for a wife. Don't tell her your intention, really, because you got to relax. You got to act like, yeah, we're going to go out. We're going to see what's up. You know, I'm just trying to see what's up. This is the best way to make a woman think like, okay, well, but you came to me. Are you interested? We're going to start like wondering like your intentions because we need to know your intentions. Are you trying to fuck or you're trying to be my boyfriend or my husband? You know, we need to know. So the fact that you come in and you're just like nonchalant and kind of like relaxed about your intentions and you're like, no, I, I just want to talk to you. I just want to get to know you. Just say that. Don't even say you want a relationship. You don't want a relationship. You don't say none of that. You just say, no, I, I thought you were interesting and I'm trying to get to know you. Or don't even say, I thought you were interesting because that's some type of validation. So just say, no, I was just trying to get to know you. It's going to drive her fucking crazy. And because you don't talk about your intention, she's going to try to put some intentions on you. So do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? But at this point, you are the decision maker because she's coming to you telling you, do you want to do, do you, do you, you know, you're the decision maker right there. You're winning because the moment the bitch is starting to ask you, what do you want to do? Can we do this? Or do you think right there, you're fucking winning. You're on the fucking pedestal right there, up there. Number four, I've told you that before, but ask for a favor yes it's this thing when you ask somebody for a favor even if they don't really want to do it the moment they do it the brain is going to start playing tricks on us we're going to be like well if i did this favor i must like him because we don't want to do favors for people we don't like so the brain is going to trick you or trick her so the brain is going to trick her to thinking that she actually likes you so i'm not saying go overboard and ask for like hell of shit because at some point she'll be like Motherfucker, can you handle your shit? Like, why do I need to do this? You know? So do little stuff. It's like the same when the bitch is asking you to hold the pearls. That's to see, like, what she can get away with and all that shit. But, like, for example, you're at a bar. You're talking to a girl. Just tell her, hey, can you hold my drink real quick? And then she's going to hold it. And I know it's not that much, but in her mind, it is going to come to, like, well, I must like him because I'm doing him this favor. It's not a big favor, but her brain is going to trick her to liking you. And that's what you want or when she comes over hey can you bring me uh, some candy hey can you bring me a bottle of water something small it doesn't have to be big but she's gonna go out of her way to do it she's gonna feel invested because she's gonna spend a little money too on this one and the brain is gonna tell her you like him that's why you're doing this for him because if you didn't like him you'd be like no i'm just coming over like go get yourself a water yes and number five set boundaries and have standards with women yes you got to let bitches know what's going to fly and what's not going to fly. And when she does the thing that you say would not fly, make sure you check the bitch or you leave her or you do what you do. But make sure you say something about it because you letting it slide like, oh, it's nothing. That means that you don't have standard. You always got to speak your mind on your belief. If you said something and the bitch does the opposite, you got to check her. You got to let her know, yo, that's not cool with me. Also on that same note, don't let bitches flake on you. Don't. Like, you know, like she's going to be like, well, uh, I know we were supposed to go out tonight, but tonight is not a good time for me. Can we do tomorrow? No, tomorrow is not a day that you are available. I don't care if you are available. No. And don't be scared that she's going to be like, well, okay, well, well, we'll try another day. Do not be scared. I am telling you, the moment you're scared, 
The moment she's gonna be like, oh, I can do whatever with him. Let's say she, she can't make it supposedly because them bitches, they can still make it or they just find somebody better or something better to do, you know, or they're just not in the mood anymore. She can still make it. She, most of the time they decide not to make it and make another decision, you know? So let's say she tells you, I can't make it tonight. You tell, and she's like, can we reschedule for tomorrow? Tell her no. No, tomorrow is not a good day for me. I'll keep you posted when another good day is going to be good for me. If you're very confident in yourself, don't even try to reschedule. I know you're going to be like, well, it's risky. Maybe she'll never reschedule. Well, if the bitch never rescheduled, that means she wasn't interested in you enough in the first place because she's the one who flaked. And then second of all, why are you scared that the bitch is not going to reschedule? Who cares? There's other bitches. So you tell her, no, that's not good for me. And then watch. When she doesn't hear from you, she doesn't hear you like trying to reschedule. She's gonna be like, either, no, 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 okay, let me see if I can switch something around and then we can go tonight. That's number one. So right there, you knew she was, uh, you know, testing. And number two, other case scenario, she's gonna hit you up and be like, hey, can we do uh, next week, this time? You know, she's gonna try to reschedule. Do not go back and try to reschedule with the bitch. No, you had your chance. Now you gotta make an effort. So yes, and that's how you get girls to put you on the pedestal because she's going to realize, wow, okay, I tried to cancel, he didn't want to cancel, or he said, okay, we can reschedule another day, never reschedule right there. She's going to feel like, oh, you have other options, you have hella bitches, and your time is fucking precious, which it is, and that, that's something you need to, to put in your mind. Don't start like moving your schedule around when you already have some stuff scheduled for a brand new bitch. No. She wants that day, you're not available that day. No, no, we'll see you the next day. Do not be thirsty. That is the biggest thing. The thirstier you are, the more you're not going to get the bitch that you want. And the more, even if you do get her, she's not going to respect you. Because again, if you are the prize, you don't got time for that type of bullshit. You really don't. But that's something you need to put in your head. I had to put that shit in my mind that people want to reschedule or act like my time is not valuable. What? Who are you talking to? My time is not valuable. Fuck you. You know, I don't get mad. I'm just like, no, I'm cool. Okay, well, yeah. And then I'll probably never respond the next time he tries to schedule something or whatever, you know, because I'm like, your time is fucking valuable. Don't let people fucking play with you. Especially them fucking bitches that don't have much to offer, but you guys are allowing them to play with you. That's just, that's just my two cents. So that's it. Those were five ways to make sure that she puts you on a fucking pedestal because you are the fucking price. Yes. All right. Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it was helpful. And uh, you can also like, comment, share. You do that for me. Thank you. And then you can also follow me on Instagram at MellyLoveXO and at MellyMonaco. On this good note and on this sunny day in California, I send you some kisses.